It is a great honor and a privilege to introduce Mrs. Peppenheim. Your maiden name was Berman. We're here in your beautiful home in your Shalim, but you're originally from Switzerland. Originally from Switzerland, and I was married. We went to Australia for 10 years. And where were you born? I was born in Italy, in Merano. Merano is uh, near the Austrian border. And, and in oh. what year were you born? Oh, we had a hotel in, in Italy. But what year were you born? What year? 28. 1928, sure. <laughs> Quite, Can a, horror? quite a long time ago. <laughs> and and your, your, your family was Burman? Yeah. And where did your family come from? Uh, actually, they, 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 they came from, from, from Austria, from... Uh, um, but, uh, but, uh, they came, they came from, from also they were when the bear ones they always went around there. And where did you grow up? I grew up in in Meran in St. Moritz. We had a hotel in Meran. And uh, in the whole in the winter in the winter we always had uh Sukas Pesach. We always stayed in Iran in the hotel, and uh, so in the in the in the in the winter we, we, they went up to St. Moritz, but we went to school. We went to school in Iran. And it was a from school. A from school. It was a Jewish school. It was a <laughs> then there were, there were no such things as, as Jewish schools. Did you have a kehillah? Was there a, a, a show? There was a kehillah in Iran. And there still is, but uh, they're not they're not from. And your family was it very from? Our, our family was very from, and they shecht, uh, they shecht by us. We had shecht him in the hotel, and uh, there was a shecht for the kehille. And did a lot and of they, they they even had a rabbi. And there was a, there was a synagogue. There was a synagogue, and there was an old people's home, and in the in Meran, it's, it's really a place where lots of people came for the the, the TV for um, uh, they, they had they had they, they, they was, they was, well, they were sick. So to recuperate, to get better. Yeah, and then they, they, to get to get better, it was a very mild climate. Around. And Miss Pepper, your family, and, uh, and they had a sanatorium, wow. and in the in the in the best schools in Iran, there's lots of young people buried because they they, they died from from this. Uh, How many brothers and sisters did you have? How many brothers and sisters? I had uh, we were we were six six children all together. I had one brother. And, 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 and all the rest of his twin sisters, mm -hmm. and, uh, what, uh, and, 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 the, and the little one, the little one was born in Switzerland. Mm -hmm. The young one, he was, she was six months old when my mother, when my father died. Oy. And can I ask, <clears throat> growing up, your your home was a very from home. They, 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 there we had a school there in, in, in Meran, and uh, there was everything there, a school in the mikveh and the sukkah, and, the suk, uh, and uh, whatever else. And do you remember the visitors that came to the hotel? Were there many... I, I still remember the, 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 Russian, the Russian people who came, who fled from, from Russia, the, the rich, rich Russian people. Yidden, were they? Yidden, yeah, former, former Was it mainly Yidden that came to the hotel? And they stayed there for the whole, for, for the duration, all the time. They, they cooked there also, they cooked their meals there and whatever. I can still remember that. It was, a, it was a beautiful hotel and they had a big sukkah for 60 people. You could uh, build, build, on, build on to the dining room. And today, does it still exist? Is it still there? It still exists, but it's uh, they, they made they made a hospital from it. Uh, once they made a hospital from it, and then they made offices from it, and they, they just confiscated it after the 
during the, the beginning of the war, the Jewish my mother, my mother tried to sell it. And it was, uh, you, you are not allowed to sell. And after the war, could they and get? My mother and my mother went, and she 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 took everything out from the hotel. She took the carpets out and she took the chandeliers out, and uh, and uh, we had we, we made our own wine. We took barrels with wine afterwards. We we sold them in Switzerland. And uh, and. Uh, and preserves, we made our own preserves, uh, the f fruit and the pears and peaches. And, uh, Were you ever compensated for the hotel? Did they ever pay back? Or? Very small, very, very, very. My mother was alone already. My father died in 45. And uh, my mother was alone and she tried to get compensation. And, and there was always a change of government. And whenever she, she was, she was, she was there. The government changed, and she, <laughs> and uh, she, she, she hardly, she got a little bit of money, but not, not very much. And let me ask: Did your family have two hotels? And the other hotel was in Switzerland. And they, uh, your family, owned the hotel. And we, we, we stayed in, we stayed in Switzerland during the war. My, 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 my father was Italian. And uh, first of all, they would have taken him to the army. And uh, secondly, uh, afterwards, uh, they would have deported, deported all of us. So do you remember leaving to go to, to Switzerland? I, yeah, well, that, was, uh, that was the year before. That was in, in, 30, in, 30, in 38. And you remember? I remember when we went there, uh, yeah, of course. I was 10 years old, I mean, I was already a big girl. And, and we, we went to, uh, at, the, at the beginning, we took, we took a flat by, uh, and it, uh, in Sapporo, just, and we had a one, all, a whole winter, we, we lived in, in, uh, in a flat, um, seating with everything, so, and uh, then the next winter, we saw that, it, it's not, it's not uh, going to finish up so quickly. So we went to the hotel, and there were down the, downstairs there were rooms from the from the personnel where they usually use the dish, dish personnel, and they adapted them. They put some some ovens in, other some uh, wood wood ovens, not not in every room every second room, and, uh, and we went to, to live there in the hotel. And who owned the hotel? We owned the hotel. My, my, my grandfather had started the hotel already. Uh, it, it was more than a hundred years ago. In St. Moritz? That is, no, he was, he was a scheucher to Baron Rothschild, wow. by my grandfather. And, uh, and then Baron Rothschild decided they want to make holidays in Switzerland. And they said, uh, okay. They said, well, my grandmother was a good cook, and he was a scheuchert. And they, they went to St. Moritz, and, and uh, they, 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 he bought, he bought uh, for him, that was peanuts. He bought uh, a house, and, uh, and he was, uh, and uh, they, and they were there almost every, every holiday, every summer. They, they, they went to St. Moritz, and they, but uh, they, it was uh, the, over the mountains, they had to, they had to come in the, in the winter, they had to change sledges, and uh, it was so easy to get there. And was there a, a Jewish Kehila in St. Moritz? <laughs> we were the only Jews. They were, the, wow. were us, and there was a family, Jaluzinski, in Celarina, in Celarina, that's about uh, a walking, walking distance, about an hour to walk from St. Moritz to Celarina. It's the next, the next village. And was there, there was no, was there? There, was, there were the only Jews who we were, we were in, in Celarina, there was a Janoszynskis, and by us it was, uh, and if, if there wasn't any season, 
We didn't have Minion. I mean, we, we only had Minion when, when, when the season was on, when we had guests. And the Minion was inside the hotel? In the hotel, yeah. There wasn't a show, there wasn't a... No, there wasn't a show, there was a hotel. In the hotel, they had an Orna Kurdish and they had... Uh, and it was a kosher hotel? Yeah, strictly kosher. <laughs> <coughs> And can I just so you're ten years old and you the during the during the war there the people from abroad didn't didn't come so and then it was too expensive to have to have to have uh, stuff to cook my mother went into into the into the kitchen and she she cooked we helped her we were uh, uh, my, my my sister was fifteen I was sixteen. It was about it, and, was and then my, 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 my father got sick, he, got, he had a heart, a heart oh, attack, yeah. and uh, then we, we had to stay alone and we cooked alone, the hotel started. And did you have any refugees, any Jewish refugees coming to the hotel? Yeah, they also came, they, they, we hosted them, they came, they came. They needed, they needed some rest and they needed some, uh, whatever, they, they came to totally. And you remember, you remember the I refugees remember coming? They came, yeah, they stayed in the hotel. And, 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 uh, and towards the end of the war, we had all the American soldiers also coming, uh. but, but the, the refugees always, always came. Was Shoshone Yom Kippur. He always made up the Armenian with, with, with the refugees. And they could stay in the hotel? Of course they stayed in the hotel. They got the food in the hotel and the rooms in the hotel. But like normal guests, nobody knew that they were, they didn't, they didn't pay. <laughs> so your family, Mamish, saved, they, they helped, they helped. They helped uh, and they, they had the rest, they came to the hotel, they came to the With the many refugees that came? There weren't so many, there weren't so many left, but the ones that came from Davos and wherever they came, different places, they, came. They, they sent them up to us. And were there any children coming as well? Rav Weinberg was there all the time. I, I, I even typed his, typed his books for him. And, uh, and who else do you remember coming? I still, I still remember that uh, there were also all Swiss people coming for the for the for the for the season only for the season. And you, when when afterwards there was, it was uh, it was uh, we, we didn't even heat up the hotel because it was too too expensive. And with the refugees, do you remember any other refugees coming? And were there children in the no, refugees or we many had, adults? We had two children by us. Uh, two, two children, uh, two, two little girls, they came, they came over the border and they stayed with us during the whole war. Do you remember their names? Uh, they were from Flach, I don't know, Inge, Inge, und, Inge und Marion. Uh, and your, uh, your family took them in? They took them in and, they, and their parents were lived in France, so they were hidden in France and they sent the children over. They stayed by us for the duration of the war. Okay, that, that was selbstverständlich. It wasn't, a, wasn't anything out of the out of the ordinary. Alavai, other there were more. Alavai, there were more people that did what your family did. They came. They came. And they, and all the, the others came to the hotel for for a rest and for. A, And Mrs. Pepperon, did you know what was going on in the rest of Europe during the war? Nobody knew. They, they, we heard, we heard about uh, about uh, in France they shot they shot uh, they shot people and whatever, but that they, they, that all the, they killed all the Yidden only towards the end of the war. I don't know how they I don't know how they did it. And can I ask, during, during the war in the hotel, what did you do during the day? 
I know I went I went to school. I went to gymnasium. I went to the tours. There was a was a, actually there there was a, a gymnasium of of German of German uh, of all the bonds of the big uh, the, uh, ambassador and uh, whatever. All their sons they didn't have to go to the army. They sent them to they sent them to Lyceum Alpinum in Suez and they, they had they had their, uh, that uh, sixth column there uh, and everything. They, they 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 gave me hell. Did they know, they knew you were Jewish? At the beginning they didn't. And uh, then uh, of course I didn't I didn't come one Shabbos and I didn't come the next Shabbos and I didn't come another Shabbos so self-verständlich I knew I was Jewish but they were awful then they, they never gave gave me I, I had to and the teachers were also awful because you were Jewish because I was Jewish yeah. and they, and I had to do all the all the all the all the all the things and and, and nobody ever gave me their books and their things so to, to to there's one 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 boy who's, who who had Rachmanus on me and he said yeah, listen Papa when we are when we are in, in, in the in the dining room and we are eating and you you go you go on this and this thing and you can copy out all, all my notes and then we put them back again and then I had to stay longer in in the in the Lyceum to to copy his notes and uh, so I knew what was going on because nobody all the others didn't didn't uh, wow. and you didn't make friends with the other other children there weren't any other children there, there was the, the girls were uh, just just coming to learn and, and going home again it wasn't uh, the boys stayed in, in there and they ate and they slept and everything there, but the girls uh, always went home. And where did you stay? And then Baruch Hashem, I stayed at home. But, it, but with the girls, did you make any friends with the Swiss girls? I had one, one, very, good, uh, one very good friend, a Swiss girl. She was a, a neighbor. She was, she was very good. She was very nice, but uh, other, otherwise. And then, Baruch Hashem, there comes somebody from from Italy, also a young Swiss girl, and they decided they also send her to school because uh, she didn't have she didn't have what to do. So she 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 came with me to school, so I had a bit of reinforcement. <laughs> was she a Yiddish? Otto Otto Lengi. They also they they are fugitives. So they came to Switzerland and. Um, and the teachers, the teachers, w teachers they were not were sympathetic. Awful. And then and then the, the war ended, and they found out that they had all, all things from from Hitler. They had, they had everything there. All Hitler used and uh, was everything. And uh, after after the war, they called me. They called me in. I was a bit afraid also to go. That, uh, that what, what do they want from me now? And then they came. They want to apologize. Wow. And, uh, they, they were so nasty to me, but they had to be because uh, because I was Jewish. But then they all had to go, and 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 the headmaster also had to go. And they put in they put in a Swiss, uh, very understanding uh, headmaster, and then the school they changed the whole thing over. And then the, the last uh, the last two years I was uh, it was okay. And Sveben, can I just? When I had my when I did my matric, he was he was already the new the new headmaster. And was better. He was much 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 higher. Yeah, auch anständig. He said, "Yeah, sit sit next." I said, "That that a whole chagiga, 
for the for the for the matuba and uh, I'm sorry, but I'm I'm not coming. I can't eat there, and, 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 and you sit next to me. <laughs> okay, that's all. It, it also went. Uh, it also passed. <laughs> And can I ask, where did you speak at home? What did you speak at home? German. German? Yeah. And Yiddish or? No. And or Italian? Did you and you spoke a bit and of Italian? In Italian. I in, in, when I was in Italy we spoke Italian. I wrote to my parents I wrote letters in Italian. And, uh, but uh, it was the, the school was there. Then we came to Switzerland and uh, I spoke German, I spoke German. Swiss German, that was the slang. Schweizerdeutsch. And can I ask, do you remember the Rabbonim who came to the hotel? And I, I think and the Rav Schachnowitz came, and, uh, and Rav Weinberg came. They were by my house, and uh, the Sada Kedushin. It was in the middle of the winter, and my mother said, okay. my husband wanted to, to hope her to be outside. She said, oh, no way, it's much too cold. We're going to just show a picture of your parents. Um, so this is a picture of your... That's my father. And your father, unfortunately, he passed away in 45. Just He was a... He was very young. He was. Did he uh, Was the war? Had the war finished when he passed away? Forty-two. He was forty-two. And when did he pass away? When was he left? Uh, at the end of the war. Nineteen forty-five. But at the end of the war. End of the war. I still, I still remember. He got. He was ill. And um, and then and then he went to hospital in 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 in, in uh, Luzern. And he was in the hospital for a while, and then they let him go. And, uh, and this is a picture of your, your mother? This is my picture, yeah, but that, that's already when she was uh, much, much older. And the hotel that you had in St. Moritz, does it still exist? And <laughs> now they pulled it all down. They pulled it down. Not a uh, few, few. Now, uh, half a year ago, they pulled it down. But till then, it was still, it was it still it a was, hotel? It wasn't a hotel, no. Oh, this is, this is, this was, see that, that this was a wedding. And they, they did it in the old, in the old style. And was this in the hotel? Yeah, that was in the, this is my mother. You can just show the... <clears throat> And can I ask these pictures? This is your father in the mountains? He loved mountaineering. And can you tell us who's in the picture over here, Mrs. Pevenham? Oh, tell, tell what? And who's in the picture? Which one? Up the, there? Yeah. That's my grandmother. That's, that's my mother. That's my grandmother, my father's mother. That's my auntie. Tante Else, she was, she was, uh, actually she was bringing us up, and this is Tante Lotte, that my, my, my grandmother's sister. She wasn't married, she, she worked in, in the hotel, they came to her, in the hotel, Tante Lotte. And your relatives, did you have relatives in Switzerland as well? Well, in St. In Moritz. In St. Moritz, or in Switzerland? Yeah, okay. They, they, uh, not, 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 not really, not, not like you have today. And your family in, in Italy, did they also manage to escape? Yeah, they, 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 they were, they, they, one, one was caught, one, 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 aunt, one auntie, one. They, they took her to Auschwitz and oh, she yeah. never came back again. And, and the uncle? With two sons, 
I don't know how they how they ex escape. The, 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 one of the sons was very ill with tuberculosis. And your aunt that we, that they they couldn't escape it was taken to Auschwitz. Couldn't escape. What was her name? Do you do you recall? I, I would, what would she would she I don't know. And how was she related? She was she was an auntie and and, and then the wife of his of my uncle. And they took a, they took lots of Eden over over the from 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 Italy. And, uh, sent sent more to 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 Germany to Auschwitz and uh, and then lots of the people tried to save themselves and, and coming over the mountains. This is uh, in the by near 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 San Moritz. I think the girl, I don't know if you know the, the, the topography. <laughs> and they went over the over, over the mountains. And did your family have a close connection with Reche Sternbach? With, with Reche Sternbach? Not really, no. That was the, they, 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 they came in from, from France. And she she was living in Montreux? She came in from Italy. <laughs> but was your family connected? Were they Related or related, uh, 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 Sternberg, my sister-in-law, my sister-in-law was a sister-in-law of Rachel Sternberg. But that was only after I got married. But had you heard of Rachel Sternberg? Yeah, uh, you, you know, you know of Rachel Sternberg, but uh, it, it, during the war you didn't, uh, you heard about her, but not And so did you ever meet her? I don't think so. I saw her by, by Simchas or so. You did see her by Simchas? Yeah. But, uh, but there weren't so many Simchas anyway. It's true. It's true. And, Mr. Pippen, how did you meet your husband? <laughs> it was a funny, a funny story. It's my sister-in-law, she was, she was, uh, she was stuck in the Shoah, and they, they saved a lot of people. And there she met my my, my brother-in-law, and then they decided they're getting married. They went to Switzerland, and they got married in Switzerland by, by my sister, by, by her sister, was Mrs. Sternbock. And uh, then my husband once came to for a visit. He was he was uh, he was with a kinder transport. He was taken to to Erzisor, and he, he stayed with the Pappenheims. His father died already, and his mother died already a long time ago, and he was he, he stayed with the with the Pappenheims here in in, in near Schrein. And then when the war was finished, he, he wanted to visit his sister, and uh, he decided he's going to visit his sister. And then the other sister, the, the one who got married, and then. Later, daughter, she she they went to Australia. Before before they went to Australia, she bought him a ticket, a round ticket. He was a young boy. He loved traveling around, and he got a general abonnement. In, the, in the Switzerland, you could go with a, with an abonnement for the train. You could go all, all over the place. So he decided one day he's going up to St. Moritz. Came came up one day. My mother was always very friendly with all the guests who came, and she said, oh, hello, how are you? I just come to see St. Moritz. I'm going back again the next train. Okay. So she said, why don't you want to go? I go next, in, in the next morning, my, my daughters, we, we had a group. We went up to the mountains, a mountain in another place. I said, why, do, why don't you join them? see the mountains here, they were beautiful. And you can still go back home in the evening with the coming back on time. I said, oh, okay. I was furious, I said, why do I just send him? <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't want some weird, a very nice group together. And okay, but he's, he came just the same. And on the, on the way, 
So I don't know how it happens, but we just happened to, to be talking together all the time. And uh, when, we came, when we came back, he didn't, he decided he's not going to, he's not going home yet. He's still staying. <laughs> and uh, when I had to work in, in the hotel, I was a secretary there. So, and uh, in the, every, every evening we were sitting there and talking away and talking away, I don't know. <laughs> and the whole week till, till Friday, and then Friday had to go home. <laughs> and then stay over Shabbat. And uh, that was it. And then afterwards, uh, one, one, of the, one of the good friends uh, of the, my family, Pappenheim, and she was young married and she was in, she was also in St. Moritz for the, for the holidays. And, uh, she, and he went with, with them on tours, uh, because during the day I had to work in the, in the office. I didn't have time <laughs> to talk. And, and uh, so she, she said once, okay, oh, why don't you make a shida? She's, she's going to invite us to, for, for, for supper. We went to her to eat, and then we, still, I don't know, somehow other we walked together, together still a little bit, and uh, it was very good. And then we came back for my birthday, and we went on the, on the, on the mountain, and. We got engaged there. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> and what, what year was this? Huh? Who was it? Th this was after the war. That was after the war, yeah. In what year? In what year? It was uh, 47, 40. Uh, and your husband, where was he born? Well, he was born in Pressburg. In Pressburg. In Bratislava. And he grew up there. And he was the son of the Russia Kohl. It's very, very Khoshima. You have a, yeah, um, the Peppenheim family is very Khoshima family. Yeah, we have a, a picture of um, from Vienna in um, 1922. This is the meeting of the Knesset Gazala of Agudas Israel. And here you have uh, Wolf Peppenheim. He's yeah. in the picture. <clears throat> This was a very Khoshva with uh, all the Khoshva up on him. My mother was a grandfather. Mm -hmm. Wow. They had a, had a few sons, and uh, one of the sons was also called in Pressburg. This was my father in law. And where were you married? In we were in St. Moritz. Raf, Raf Weinberg and Raf Schachnowitz gave them a Sabbath And you lived in St. Moritz after you were married? After that, after we married, we lived in St. Moritz because uh, first we thought we could uh, help my mother in the hotel. Um, then my brother-in-law came, uh, came back from Australia and he said, come, come to Australia, it's a good country, you can build up your life there. And he sent us a, a permit. And you went to Australia? We went to Australia. And where, where in Australia? To Melbourne. Sure. Because there were many, many survivors that went to Australia after the war. Uh, many, many survivors. They were all Hungarian. Hungarian, yeah. Yeah. And they, they had a nice killer. And there were people who, who wanted to, 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 build a, to build something, to make something. They, they built a, they, 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 they bought a casting pen, first of all, to, to, be, to, to, to have for the, for the street. And uh, they bought a, a, the shark that they had. And then they bought a, a roof, and they, they built a shul, and they built a mikra, and they built all the, they, were, they were very active. And what did your husband do? What, what type of work? My, my husband was a printer. He learned and uh, today, today it's not a job anymore. Yeah. And we have here he, such he a beautiful picture of your, your husband. <clears throat> and this is with your daughter, who now, Kenanora has... It's my granddaughter, Elisheva. Wait a minute, one picture there. So he has another picture. Now that's, that's how they did the weddings. 
And were you happy in Australia? Very. Was it difficult to be separated from your mother and your, your siblings? So, you know, it's a funny thing. Uh, it, it, it was, it was, my sister-in-law was a, was a marvelous person. And he, this is when we got, this is when we got engaged. Also, also Karin. It, 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 wow, this is so special. It's just so sad that your your father wasn't allowed to, to be at your chasana. No. But your mother must have been very happy. It must have been a very big simcha. It was, it was hard for her because she was alone with, the, with six little children. So she was... She was unbelievable. And did she keep yeah. the hotel for many yeah, years? The, the, the business, the business was was run down. It was uh, just after the war, and uh, I was the oldest, and uh, and she had to she, she had to manage the whole the whole the whole thing alone. And how long did she keep the hotel? Oh, she <coughs> she she wanted to keep it for my brother. She kept it all the time, and then my brother got, got my, my brother. My brother was only was only bar mitzvah when my father died. I was the oldest. I was sixteen, and my, my little sister, uh, she 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 never knew her father. It's so sad. Wow. Yeah, it's a shame because he was. He was a special person. He was really, really a special person. And can I just ask, Ms. Pepinam, after the after the war, did a lot of you didn't come to Saint Moritz? Because today it's a very yeah. Afterwards, uh, it, it picked up again, and uh, they came from abroad, and uh, and uh, it was a big, big uh, hotel. At the beginning, my mother helped my brother, and. Uh, Le Le he, did it. he did it himself. And do you remember after the war other Khoshva people coming to the hotel? Khoshva, the American came. And they, 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 they had all different, they want this and they want that and what the other. And uh, in, the, in the war time, we worked on a shoestring. Mm -hmm. And then suddenly, suddenly, had to buy a, a new fridge and a new. Uh, it was a, was a big thing. Eventually, uh, first season was a bit of a, of a thing, but then, then it was okay. And can I ask? And <clears throat> were there many? I think in Grunwald there was another kosher hotel. But were the other were the other kosher hotels in Switzerland? Many yeah, other La Rosa and in Grindelwald and uh, uh, so, so, there were so, some more some more there. Then and there was Aitania Aitania in Davos. It was almost there, but uh, it was more for for sick people for for long people. And when did your when did your family finish with the hotel, or when did they? And oh, they didn't. They, they they didn't finish. Then then they, they 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 wanted to. My 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 brother my brother was already was already wanted to retire, and his son wanted to to take take off the hotel and, and build to build a new a new hotel. And they didn't want to give them permission. Who didn't want to give the? Uh, the the anti-Semitic then. The the, the, the city. The the anti-Semitic and they didn't want to give them permission. And then he said, "Okay, he didn't he didn't really he, he didn't really need it." Wow. And uh, so he left it, and and then they, they pulled it they pulled it all down. Which is only recently, only... Recently, yeah. 
and they and they, and they made the new and they made the, 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 my my sister just said I've never seen it. They put a huge block there, very ugly looking thing. It's so sad because that hotel, how many years did was it in existence? Over over hundred years. It should have been a national monument. It should have been. It, it was not. Okay, look, it wasn't it wasn't so comfortable anymore. The Americans they liked that. He, he, he put some bus, he put a bathroom in every room, but then, then the room got very small. And it always remained a kosher hotel? Maybe strictly kosher, yeah. Sure. Uh, the mix were also there. And, uh, And today in St. Moritz, is there, is there a, a kahila? No kahila, there's no kahila. They, they have a minion there. And are there any kosher hotels today in St. Moritz? In St. Moritz, no. Yours was the only kosher hotel? That was the only. Okay, you can buy, you can buy kosher food in, 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 the, in the super, you can get a few things. And uh, when, when, when there was a bakery, my, my, my brother used to light up the, the oven, so yeah, it's kosher bread. But no, now I don't know what's going on. And here's a picture of your, this is your husband's mishpoche. It's a, it's in, it was in Siget. But, uh, you can see a very kosher family. Uh, yeah. And Miss Pippenham, how many years were you married? Me? No. We got married in 45, in 47, till 38. Um, 30, 30 odd years. 30 years. And why did you leave Australia? Ah, because of, because of the children. <laughs> they didn't want to. Uh, to, to be stuck there and have, have our daughter marry somebody in Hutsorat and we never see her again or, or maybe once in ten years but uh, we, didn't, we didn't have so much money that we could afford to come every year and uh, how, how, could we, how could we see each other and said if she goes and if, if, she, if, we all, if we all are in Hutsorat then my mother said look it's not, it's not, uh, we don't have to go to Australia anymore. It's, we can make a panos in Switzerland. And you went back to Switzerland? And we went back to Switzerland. And uh, at the beginning I wanted, we wanted to, to uh, my, my husband looked for, I looked for a job in Basel even as a printer. And did you ever go back to Italy? To Australia. To Italy. To Italy. I went to, to visit just to have a look. But uh, it's not, it's the hotel, they, 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 they took the hotel. It's not, the hotel stands. But, uh, and what is it today? I don't know, like offices or whatever sure. they did. But <coughs> they, they, they confiscated it all. I mean. But the Jewish property and uh, was. Uh, and Ms. Pippa, can I just ask, where did you come to, to Eretz Israel? When did I come to Eretz Israel? After, <laughs> after I retired. <laughs> I was, 30 years I worked in Switzerland. And you happy you came? Oh yeah. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> but I, I worked also for 30 years in the catering. And, and and then uh, different things. What, uh, and where, where in Switzerland were you working? Where did you live? In Zurich. Oh, you moved to Zurich? Yeah. If in Zurich, working in Zurich. So you were very involved with the Kehle in Zurich? Yeah, in Zurich you were part of the Kehle. It's, it's different. It's different than here. Here you're not part of anything. But we all are Israel, it's all... Yeah, but uh, it's uh, not in, in Zurich, you have a roof, and you, you know everybody, and you have the... Uh, and you were happy in Zurich? 
I, I, I didn't like it. I can't say that I like it so much. Too, but uh, but uh, but you have you have a you have a, a, a Jewish setup. <coughs> so, Miss Pippin, I want to ask you if your grandchildren ask you to give a a message or advice. What advice do you give? Because you've you've seen s yes, so they, many. So he had wait for Mashiach. <laughs> No, but it's the best place to be here. In the area It's so anti-Semitic in Switzerland. You, you can't imagine. Do you know the, the passport that says J on the passport? J, J for, for Yidden. Uh, Who did not now? No, but it was in the time of the Shah, in time of the... No time of the Shah. Th that came yeah. from Switzerland. It was the Swiss that said you should put a J. It was their, 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 their suggestion that the, the German should put a J on the passport. And unfortunately, there were many Yidden that came to Switzerland and they were turned back to France, or they were turned back. Because they had a J on the passport. No. Or, or because they were Jewish. Yeah, no, as I mean. But you, you, you're very happy to be in Eretz Israel. Me, Baruch Hashem. Oh, no. I thank God every day to be here. <laughs> I yeah, just it's, a, it's, it's the best place to be. So, with with all the machlokes and with all the what's in it, up or down, so, I just want to have, have something to do. I too. just want to thank you. Um, I'm just going to commit to thank you. <clears throat> so, Mrs. Pepin, I'm, I'm, I just must mention it is such a squid, the greatest honor and privilege. To have you as my patient, number one, that you're my patient, <laughs> my dear patient, for many years already, but to to be in your home and to hear your story. And I want to mention something very, very, very important, that Alavai, more families would have been like your family, that helped other Yidden. Because in Switzerland, and not only in Switzerland, in many countries, not all families helped other Yidden, but your no, family was, did. That was ter terrible, that he, he said. He has to wait for the joint to give permission. Yeah. He needed, he I needed know, money. I know. It's, and it's, it's the it, many it stories. Could, it could have saved the uh, millions of hidden. And, uh, but your uh, family took in. They took in and they, they took helped. In they helped. And okay. It's very yeah. special, Mishpacha. And, and they, <laughs> sometimes uh, then they had Russians there, and they came. And, and that was very interesting. Once they got stranded, some somehow or other, or quotes of of Russians. And uh, came in the hotel, and they didn't have anything. And they asked the guests, everybody, and they had had some water or something to give for them. And in the, in the shortest time, they had the most beautiful dresses and the most beautiful things. Amazing. All the guests, all everybody, donated something off of their wardrobe, and uh, and then they came and they they had. Uh, Good meal, and they had a nice sort of a, they really had a nice Shabbos by us in, in the hotel. Well, it's very and special, and I want to thank you. I'm so grateful. Okay. You should just have Mazel Brocha well, at Mayvay Stream in good health and Nachas from your beautiful thank you. family. Thank you so much. Well, that's that's just uh, just some of it. But please have something. Honey. Thank you so much, Mrs. Bevanel.